Today, we're going to go through the Magic Leap apps. And right here, this is this convenient menu. I've got this controller in my hand right here. It provides haptic feedback. So every time you hear that little noise, I'm getting actually a, a little kind of vibration in my hand from doing that. Should work for pretty much any device, but I have a special option, enter AR, and as soon as I press it, I can then put my controller inside of this bubble, and all this is happening as a reaction to my controller being there, which is pretty cool. I've got this, this app right here that lets you use your hands, and if you touch, there's no haptic feedback, which is the main disadvantage of using your hands instead of the controller. But if I put my hands where this cube is, um, you can see that it changes the color. And if you look around the room, you'll see that I'm in an immersive VR experience. Uh, the Mac Leap 2 has this unique feature called selective dimming, so it kind of blocks out uh, what you see what you add, what's actually there in favor of a kind of VR headset, but it is transparent enough to where you can see both things, especially if there's some sunlight in the room. Let's show various different features that Magic Leap has. So it'll show you a rundown of that world. part of the allows for this map. It's really detailed. You can see a city, you can see the topography, you can tell it. And it has this animation right here. Uh, and I'll, I'll just note that if somebody else was in the room connected, they could actually see the same thing as me. So they could be standing in the room with me right over there where this pointer is, and they would see it from this angle. Another cool feature this has is the embedded. Yeah, it's actually a lot of data involved. And additionally, this dashboard provides settings that allow you to adjust what you're seeing. So I can add smoke and wind, and you'll see it adds a layer of smoke to add realism, and it tells you the direction of the wind. And it looks really immersive. It looks like really sci-fi. It's pretty incredible stuff. There's also these coppers that come in. Another live video. This shows that uh, this is pretty useful. It'd be really cool if you had some kind of hand tracking involved with this too. Create your own scenes. I've created this basketball scene right here. And right now you'll see there's something called mass, called room mapping on. And what that is, it allows you to interact around you. So you can have something bounce off the wall. You can add your own characters to the scene and your own physics to the scene. And you can even just make your own game. Simple cube model. How big do we want it? Right away. Just using our iPhones, we can make a 3D model life size. Own games built in. I'm excited to see where this goes because the physics in it are pretty convincing and they're pretty fun to play around because you can just walk around all these scenes and 
there's variability in what you can do with with these things. Um, you've got impossible physics, but then also little mini games that you can design, and it's pretty incredible. If you have one of these devices, check it out.